Tomeva Mata Chapita Tomeva Tomeva Bandu Chasaka Tomeva Tomeva Vidya Dravidam Tomeva Tomeva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva. Open your eyes, children. Yes. Now listen, children, carefully. Before starting our topic, I want to ask you something and I want to tell you something. Are you all aware that again this uh, corona is spreading very speedily? So children, just to avoid the situation, stop going outside. Okay? Just try to stay at home. Maximum time try to stay at home. Always wash your hand carefully. Use sanitizers. Whenever, if there is any urgent need, that time only you need to go out. And that time also you must wear your mask. Okay? Very good children. Yes, Gita. So, we'll start our topic. Okay? Before starting, I want to show you something. See here. Children, do you know what is this? See here. Here. And here. Yes, yes, very good. Very good, Avni. All these are blocks. But if we will count one by one, then it will take time, okay? If I count yellow blocks here, one, two. Look here, three, here, four, five, six, okay? I have six blocks of yellow color. And red is one, two, the topmost is three, and here it is fourth one. Okay. Now blue color one, two, three, and here is the fourth one. On this green blocks. One, two, here it is three, fourth, and fifth one. Okay. And orange, only two blocks. Now I have counted one by one, but if you want to remember it for a longer time if you want to make it more simpler we will make a table to write this information okay now see blocks colors yellow blocks Orange, green, 
blue and red. Okay. Now I'll make a table. Show it. Number. Yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll give it a sign now. I have six yellow blocks. Orange here, two orange blocks. Okay. So I'll write number two. Then green. How many blocks? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I have five green blocks. Now blue. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here I'll write four. Now red. One, two, three, four. Very good, children. Now I'll write four. Now the total number of blocks. At the end, we will count all the blocks. Now six and two. Six plus two, eight. Eight plus five, 13. 13 plus four, 17. 17 plus four, 21. Very good. Now, total blocks is 21. Now, this table makes my remembering easy. I can easily remember the yellow blocks, 6. Now, there is no need to count again and again. Okay? So, to remember it, to make our counting uh, very simpler, we will make a table. This table is nothing but a data of your blocks. Okay? Now I have total 21 blocks. Understood children? You can make uh, different tables. You can make a pie diagram. You can make this type of chart. You can make list. Okay? So, to make this concept more clear, I am going to show you some pictures. Just look at those pictures carefully. Welcome back, children. In our BMC's statewide education channel, Standard 3rd. Now, today's subject is Maths. In that, we are going to deal with the topic Handling Data. Okay, now see children, first try to understand what is the meaning of data. Data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations or just descriptions of things. As we are in example, we saw the example of blocks. In the same manner, we can use numbers also, different measurements also, okay? See here, types of graph to make data. We can make tally chart. Today, we are going to see some tally charts also, okay? And bar graph, pictures graph. It is not necessary that in picture graph, you make only one picture. You can use any picture of your choice pie chart, all these are types of graph which you can use to make your data. Now, just look carefully at this picture. There are children playing in the garden. Okay? Count how many children are there. 
yes one two three four and five there are five boys in the garden what they all are doing yes they are playing two on slides two on seesaw and one is playing with a football now we have to represent this information in a tabular form that means in a table so how we are going to write it yeah how we are going to make a table to show this information let's see now here now see the types of game number of children on sliding there were two children and on seesaw two and football one now 2 plus 2 plus 1 it will make 5 that means our information is correct now just tally it two on sliding two on seesaw one on football see here yes two on sliding two on seesaw and one is playing football that means total five children are there okay now let's move ahead see here handling data it was sonu's birthday her friends had come for her birthday party everyone wished her a happy birthday and also gave her gifts as you all know that in birthday we all give gifts so in sonu's birthday also sonu got many gifts now nandu had not gone for the party nandu was his friend but he didn't go for the party so he asked sonu what he asked to sonu let's see who had come to the party how many boys how many girls now nandu is inquiring to sonu that in birthday party who all had come how many boys were there and how many girls were there what gift did you get how many of them that means what gift you got and in those gifts what you had now see again here we will make a table to show the gifts see here sonu told nandu the names of all those who had come now let us see the gifts first we can answer nandu's question later that means the names of the friends but first now we are going to count the gifts and you all know that you are always eager to see the uh, to see gifts so here also first we will see the gifts tony put the gifts into group salma counted the books sonu counted the pens tony counted the pencils nandu wrote down this information on a slate now nandu wanted to know the gifts he wanted to know the friends those who had come to the party so now he is making a list of all these things on a slate see how he had written very nicely so i got 30 gifts in all but how he came to know that he got 30 gifts that means we have to count those gifts to know the total number now see there is a table one column is for gifts and one column is for the numbers here pencils how many pencils he got 17 pens 4 books 9 so if we count all these gifts together the number will get 30 that means he got total 30 gifts amazing children so many gifts okay now see what he did next day next day when nandu came to the class he asked every children that means every boy each boy and each girl how do you come to school he took down their answer as shown below we also 
now this is a pandemic due to pandemic there is a lockdown we are doing online studies but during our normal days we used to go to school some used to go by rickshaw some by bus some by walking isn't it children yes in the same way nandu inquired about the mode of traveling to school now rohit said he travel by bus vijaya by rickshaw maya again by bus gopal came by walking now rekha rickshaw krishna is coming to school by bicycle very good bicycle is very good abha is coming by car mahadev walking roger walking farooq is coming by rickshaw ahmed bus sanika is using her bicycle to come to school now smita bus nandu rickshaw sonu is coming by rickshaw john by bus sarabjit by bus swara car ramnath walking alan walking vikas rickshaw anthony again rickshaw sara by bus satish by bicycle albert by bus ram swami walking neeta by bus alka by bus nagesh by bicycle kailash again by bicycle children you had so many names but how do you remember that they are coming by rickshaw if we had so many names then chances are there that we will forget okay so to remember these things easily what he did nandu made a table now see nandu made a table and presented the same information in it as shown below here see this table coming by bus coming by rickshaw come walking those who come on a bicycle those who come by car okay now see the names he had divided the names according to their modes of traveling now count the numbers those who are coming by bus it is 10 by rickshaw those who come by rickshaw it is 7 and those who come to school by walking 6 on a bicycle 5 by car 2 so now count all these numbers together to know the total number of children 10 plus 7 17 17 plus 6 23 23 plus 5 28 28 plus 2 yes 30 very good that means now in this table he had information about 30 children 30 students those who are coming by different modes of travel okay now see here now children in this table he had written everybody's name but in place of name we can use something else also now in next slide we will see because if you had so many children it takes more time to write each and everybody's name now let's see here yeah. with the colors it is not required to wear the uniform on thursday okay in a school it was not required to wear uniform on thursday children had to come to school wearing clothes of different colors they are on the thursday they are allowed to wear different colors dress of their own choice now see the numbers sorry see the names and the colors rohit wore red vijaya green maya blue gopal red krishna's dress color is green abha blue rekha yellow john again blue saurabh green smita yellow vikas blue neeta wore red dress swara green kailash red nagesh blue sanika's dress color is red alan's yellow salma green 
Mahadev wore blue dress, Albert blue color, and Sonu yellow and Ram red. Now these are the colors of their clothes. Now here we have to write this in a tabular form. Now see the table that Alan made. Colors of clothes. All four different colors. Red, green, yellow and blue. In next column, we have to write the names of the children, those who were wearing of these color dresses. But again, it will take time to write everybody's name. Now here, number of children, those who had worn that dresses. Red color dress were worn by four children. Green by two kids. Yellow, seven, blue, ten. Now count all these things. This is the counting of 23 children. Okay, the total number is 23. But this table can be made in different way also. Now see which is the different way. Here, yeah, see how Salma made this dress. In place of name, she had used this line. She had used line to represent each name. In first one, see the red column, four lines are there. That means four children had four red dress. No need to write name again and again. It is very time, time consuming. It's a very lengthy process. In place of names, you can use this mark. Okay? Green by two. The information is correct. The information is same. See here also. Red, green, yellow, blue. The number of children is four, two, seven, and ten. Here also, this four colors. And the number is same. Four, two, seven, and ten. What is the difference only? The number of children. Their names. Here you have to write the names. And here, in place of name, we had used line. That is tally mark. Okay? By using tally mark, we are saving our time. See here. Mary had a table giving information about the flowering plants in her garden. We also had garden in our balcony at our home. So in the same way, Mary had a garden. Now she had planted so many flowers. Rose, hibiscus, mogra, champa. Now just count the numbers first. How many rose flowers are there, children? Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many rose flowers are there? In her garden, we had total eight rose plants. Okay. And hibiscus. Yes. Hibiscus, four. Mogra plants. Count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. We have five mogra plants. And two champa flower plants. Okay. Now, here also, we have to write this information in a tabular form. See here, in place of writing the plants, rose plant, rose plant, rose plant, I used tally mark to write the numbers of plants. Eight rose plants, four hibiscus, one, two, three, four, five, five mogra plant, and two champa plant. Okay, now count this total number, children. 8 plus 4, yes, 12. 12 plus 5, yes, very good, 17. 17 plus 2, yes, 19. That means she had total 19 flowering plants in her garden. Now see one more example here. Rita asked her friends to name their favorite sweet dish. 
they showed their answer in a table using tally marks. The lines which we use, that is called the tally mark. Count the tally marks in order to write the number to the following questions. First, we are going to see the table. See here, wow. Name of sweet dishes. Jalebi, laddu, gulab jamun, other sweet dishes. Okay? See in tally marks. <coughs> Excuse me. See in tally marks. Jalebi. How many children like jalebi? Count the lines. That is tally mark. One, two, three, four. Okay? Four children like jalebi. And laddu? Seven. Three, three, six, seven. Yes, children. Now we have to write the numbers also. See here. Jalebi is liked by four children. Laddu by seven. Gulab jamun by eleven children. And other sweet dishes. There are many sweet dishes. By three children. Now we have four, seven, eleven and three. Which is the maximum number of children, those who like sweet is maximum children like gulab jam. Okay. Now let us see what are the questions which we have to answer about this sweet dishes. See here. Oh, which is the most popular dish among the children? Yes, gulab jamun. Why gulab jamun? Because the number of gulab jamun is more here. The number children like this with gulab jam. By how much is the number of children who like laddus more than the number who like chilebis? Now we have to find the difference between children's liking of laddu and jalebi. Here laddu is liked by seven children and jalebi is by four. So to find out the difference, we will subtract the number. 7 minus 4. That is 3. That means 3 more children like laddus as compared to jalebi. Okay. Shall we move ahead children? Yes. Here. Name of the crop in the field. As you know, farmers work in a field. He grow many crops. Here also, we have number of farmers growing crops. But now let us see what are the crops they grow. Here it is wheat, jawar, rice, peas, peanut, and the last one is sugar cane. See the numbers, those who are growing wheat. Count the farmer's number. Here it is, four. This is a pictographical representation. Jawar. How many farmers are growing jawar? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight farmers are growing jawar. And how many farmers are growing rice? Count it, children. Yes, very good. One, two, three, four, five. That is five farmers are growing rice. Four are growing wheat. And eight are growing java. Now peas. Again, four are growing peas. Now here, five farmers have peanut in their feet. And sugar cane, two farmers. Two farmers are here, those who are growing sugar cane in their field. Now, what are the questions which have to answer about this information? Now, let's see. See here. How, about how many crops does the table give us information? That means the total number of crops. This is not about rice, jawar or any one crop. 
Now here the question is asked about the total number of crops. Now wheat, jowar, rice, peas, peanut, and sugar cane. There we have total six crops. Okay. See the answer. The first answer is six crops. How many farmers grow peanut? Just now we had counted the peanuts. Where is peanut? See the second last column. Now count the farmers. Yes, there are five farmers. Those who are growing peanut. Which crop is grown by the smallest number of farmers? That means C. The smallest that is less number of farmers. Sugar cane is the crop which is grown only by the two farmers. So this is the least one. Smallest number. Which crop is grown by the largest number of flowers? That means many flowers growing this crop. Now, which is that seed? Which is that crop? Yes, the second number that is jawar. There are eight farmers, those who are growing jawar. Okay, children. So let's move ahead and see the another example also. Here, what did you do to entertain yourself on Sunday evening? The answer that the children gave to this question have been tabulated as shown below. Tabulated means to make this table, to represent in a table form, that is tabular form, okay? When we used to go to school on Sunday, we enjoy a lot because Sunday is a holiday for us. So how you entertain yourself, how these children enjoyed their Sunday. Some played games, some watched TV, some took a walk in a garden and some read a storybook. Now we have to find out the number of children, those who played games. Now come to telling my children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there are seven children, those who entertain themselves by playing games. See, yeah, I've written, yes, total seven number, seven children. Now count those who watch TV. One, two, three, three children are there, those who watch TV. Now, who took a walk in the garden? How many children are there, those who are walking in the garden? Yes, there are four children, those who entertain themselves by walking in a garden. And now, who reads book? How many number of children reads book? Count the lines. Lines, that is tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Eight children are there, those who read a storybook on Sunday evening to entertain themselves. Now here we got total number of children. If we'll count all the numbers, that is seven plus three plus four and eight, we'll get the total number of children. We are used in this tabular form. Now see, how many children does the table inform us. That means we have to count the total number. I have written answer here 22. Let's once check it again. 7 plus 3 10. 10 plus 4 11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. Now 14 plus 8 Yes children? Yes, very good. 22. That means we have 22 children information. And how many children took a walk in the garden? Just now we counted that there are four children, those who took a walk. Now, what did the least number of children do? See, which is the least number? Yes, three is the smallest number in this table. That is the least children was TV. What they're doing? watching TV.
So now let's move towards your assignment time. Okay, I think you all understood the tables, how we used to make this table. Now, how you will make this table? You have to make columns. You have to put information in that column. You have to make a table, tally mark, total number. Okay, now let's move ahead. See here, you have to collect information about children's favorite fruit present in a table. And you have to present it in a table. Now see here, the fruits are given. Mango, guava, apple, pomegranate. Now just, now you are not going to school. So it is not possible for you all to ask to your friends, to ask all the children of your class as we are doing online studies nowadays. But the friends, those who are in your contact, you can ask to your friends, those who are like mangoes, who like guavas, okay? So you have to put numbers also and you have to put telemark also. No read to write names of your friends because if you'll write in place of telemarks, if you'll write names of your friends, it will take a long time. It will become very time consuming. So in place of name, you can just put one line for them. And that line is called the tally mark. Okay, children? So how many children likes mango? You have to put lines for them. And in the next column, you have to write the total number of that tally mark. That means total number of children, those who like mangoes. And guava. Nice. Apple pomegranate okay now see here what you have to write which fruit do the greatest number of children write now after completing that table you have to write this number of the children those who like the maximum number of children those who like the same fruit okay suppose mango is liked by 10 children guava is liked by 4 apple 3 pomegranate 2 so mango is the fruit the greatest number of children liked it. It is not necessary that everybody's table is same, should be same. You write that information according to your own friends, according to your own numbers of friends and their likings. See the num second question. See the number of children that like mangoes is greater than the number that like any other fruit. Now, the moment you will complete the table, you will come to know that which is the greater number of children who you like the fruits. You will subtract with the other fruits number and you will get the exact number. The example which we did in laddus and uh, jalebi, we have subtracted seven from four. That means three number of children more those who like the laddus. In the same way here, you have to subtract mangoes from any other fruits to know the number of those children, those who like mangoes more. Now see here. Read the question carefully and prepare a table showing the information collected. Now what is the information? What fuel is used for cooking in the homes of the children in your class? Some are using gas at their home. Some are using kerosene. And some might be using woods also. So you have to make a table. In that you have to put information about the fuel used in their homes for cooking purpose. And the fuels are gas, kerosene or wood. Okay. If you want then I'll draw the table also. And you have to but information you have to fill in that. Okay, the number of children, tally marks, and few. Okay, children. So, did you all understand how to write this table, how to put information in that? Okay. Thank you, everybody, for being with me. Okay. Now, I'm going to...